Praise God. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Asante Yesu. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Come before you, Lord. Lord, I give you thanks for your word, for your Holy Spirit, for your power, for your strength, Lord, most of all, for your son, Jesus Christ. Bless us today, Lord. Help us to understand your word. Take away all the dross in our heart. Help us to understand your word. Take away all the dross in our heart. Help us to have hearing ears. And seeing eyes. And fill my mouth with your word. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Second Timothy chapter four. Timothy chapter four. Timothy I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead. At his appearing and his kingdom. Na kwa giza mbele za Mungu na mbele za Kristo, Yesu atakaye wahukumu walio hai na walio kufa kwa kuinuliwa kwake na kwa ufalme wake. Preach the word. Be neno. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all in suffering and doctrine. Uwe tayari wakati ukikuwapo sawa na wakati usiofa karipia kemea na kuonya kwa umilimu wate wa mafundisho. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Mana utapuja wakati ambako wakata ikataa mafundisho ene uzima. But after their own lust shall they heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. Ila kwa kuzi kuzifuata njia zao wenyewe watajipatia walimu makundi makundi wa kwa kwa wana masikio ya kutafupatii. And they shall turn their turn away their ears from the truth. Na watajepisha wasisikie ndio kweli. And shall be turned to fables. Na kuzigeukea hadithi za uongo. But watch thou in all things. Bali wewe uwe na kidadisi katika kila mambo. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Amen. Amen. Jesus is coming back. Amen. 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 Jesus is coming back. Yes, in the world, if you look at the world right now, it's a mess. It's always been a mess. The world is evil. They are lost in darkness. They're blind and they don't know where they're going. Destruction is on every hand. And they don't know that the snare is laid at their feet. Ready to take them out. But Jesus is going to come back. Amen. And he's going to make all things right. He's going to establish his kingdom. 
the physical kingdom and he's going to rule the whole entire earth and he's going to break up the nations he will break up the nations with a rod and the government will be on his shoulders and we must all stand before him. And we can stand before him as his child. Or we can stand before him as an enemy. I trust no one in here is an enemy. Amen. We have the mission of the apostle. Paul in 2 Timothy to preach the word to be instant in season, out of season it needs to be ready no matter what's going on to give an answer to people who, who are looking for Jesus. It says be ready to give an answer for those who they're seeking. About the, about the hope that is in you. Reprove means to teach. Rebuke means to say, stop it. Exhort means to invite. To because there's a time, and it's now, when people won't want the truth. They're so distracted in their mind. So many things have grown up in their heart. So many seductions in the world. They don't have the attention span. To hear the word of God. But they won't hear it. They don't want it. You offer it to them. They laugh it off. And this is today. There's going to be a time. And now is. That they're going to turn their ears away from hearing. I've seen this happen in real life. I saw the people as the Holy Spirit fell in a prayer meeting. Afterwards, there was one preacher on one end and all the people in the midst and another preacher on the other end this preacher said one thing. Which was the truth. And the other preacher said something else. Which was not the truth. But because the people had favor for the one speaking lies. They turned their head away from the truth. And it's like that today in America. People don't even want to know what truth is. I hate to bring this up. 
because it is a great shame to any people. Sin is a great shame to any people. To be known around the world for being sinful. Perverse. Stupid. Is a shame to any people. And today in America, people won't say when they're asked a simple question. What is a woman? They say, I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. There are videos on YouTube where men go into the street with a microphone and a camera and they ask the people women and men and no one wants to say they won't say what a woman is they won't acknowledge basic truth for example that example is life good? They say, I don't know. It depends. Life only has value if you don't have to suffer. If you suffer, maybe you have something wrong with you. There are some who believe you should die. They believe you should just kill yourself and rid everyone of the burden of you. They believe that if women get pregnant and they don't want to have a baby, they could just kill the baby. They tell them it's not a baby. It's just a clump of cells. Not really a human being. And when you go to the churches, they talk about stupid things. How to be a nice person. Uh, I think we should be nice as Christians. But that's not the same thing as what Jesus was talking about. When he said, love your neighbor. If you love your neighbor, like you love yourself, you'll give them the truth, even if they don't like it. If a person is sick, and they go to the doctor, and the doctor knows they're sick, and they're going to die, if the doctor lies, and tells them they're fine, the doctor would lose his license to practice medicine. But the churches don't believe in telling the truth. They don't want to offend anyone. They don't want to they don't want anyone to get angry with them. 
maybe they'll get mad and they'll leave. They'll go to somebody else's church. Well, they will tell them whatever they want to hear. There is a spiritual rot that is taking place in this world. We see the heads of the tares and the wheat. We can see the fruit. And we know that time is near. And there's coming a day when Jesus will come back. He came the first time just the way that God said he would come. Born of a virgin. In the house of David. In the city of Bethlehem. Amen. And he died as he, God had said that he would die. And God raised him up from the dead. As it was prophesied, he shall not allow his holy one to see corruption. It is already done. Jesus, has, <laughs> Jesus hasn't come back physically. But by the word of God, amen. We know it is done. Because it is written in God's word. And it shall be done. Amen. Does that make sense? Amen. 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 The whole time I've been saved, I've watched minister and church after church after church after church after church. Walk in the word. And then they get distracted. Yes, they get off course. And there have been times when God gave me or sent me to warn them. And they didn't listen. And they embraced another spirit. Another Jesus. And I don't know where they stand with the Lord today. There are many who are going to stand before the Lord. And they're going to say, Lord, Lord. Did we not do all these wonderful works in your name? We prophesy. We cast out devils. We did all these things in your name. And Jesus will say to them, Depart from me. I never knew you. Ye that work iniquity. The people who turn their ears away from the truth. It's not that they don't go to church. The women who abort their babies. And think it's okay to do that. Call themselves Christians. 70% of abortions are performed by Christian women. But the pastors preach psychology. Psychology. Oh, 
change yourself. How to be a good person. How to appear holy. But they did not talk about sin. And they would never talk about abortion. Or they would never talk about fornication. Adultery. Lasciviousness. Evil desires. <laughs> they would never talk about that. Because they are bound by those things themselves. But these are the teachers that people heap up for themselves. Jesus said, as in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the day that Jesus comes back. Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And he was vexed every day. By the evil of the city. Something that people don't understand about Sodom and Gomorrah. As, as bad as they were. God will count them more righteous than this generation. Because Sodom had no Bible. Sodom never heard the name of Jesus. But this generation has both. And they still hate God. They still don't want to hear the truth. They will not endure sound doctrine. The word of God is sound doctrine. Applied through the lens of the new covenant. New covenant. <laughs> Meaning that we see everything through the new covenant. And the people don't want that. So boring. The people in America, they have to have lights, cameras, stage lights, stage lights. A stage, smoke, that's not a joke. They, they, they have smoke. <laughs> no truth. There's no truth. Very little truth. No Holy Spirit. No deliverance. But the people are entertained. And they can come and sit and feel comfortable. They don't have prayer meetings. They don't even know what the word says. But they can say they went to church. And when you, I would go on the street and preach. A lot of the people would tell me, I'm saved. Thinking that that would make me stop preaching. I'm 
I'm safe. You don't need to preach to me. Why I say my name you know maybe you got to go see you baby. See la demo ni diria. It just turned off. I don't know why. They would get offended. With the preaching of the gospel. They, one woman even offered uh, another preacher uh, money to stop preaching. Stop speaking these words to us. We want to hear smooth things. If that's your desire to hear smooth things, it's like going to the doctor who lies. You can find a drug dealer that doesn't mean he's a doctor. Amen. 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 All right. <laughs> it's not hard to get what you want if that's what you want. Mm. The question is, what do you want? When the truth attacks you, not just when the preacher is preaching truth, but when you read the word of God and as the truth attacks you. Amen. When the Holy Spirit is convicting you, and you get angry, then what? Do you keep going your way? Or do you want God? Do you realize you didn't react the right way? Do you then go back to God and say, Father, I am sorry? Lord, have mercy on me. See, the only difference between those who continue in the faith and those who become like these people, those who continue in the faith, do that despite the cost. They know it costs them everything. And they've already paid that price in their heart. The only difference between those who continue and those who do not, they keep taking their heart to God. They keep their faith in the blood of Jesus, allowing his blood to wash them every day. It has to be every day. Every single day. It's a fight of faith every single day. At least it is for me. <laughs> That's really the only difference. 
There was a pastor that we used to sit under. He was like a father to us. God used him so mightily. There came a day we sat down to eat a meal. And as we were talking, I brought up the subject of uh, a false Bible. It's called the message. And it is not a Bible. And he said, and I said, it is not a Bible. And he said, I like it. I think it's a fresh translation. And I read it at home. But I would never preach from it. I said, brother, you know it is not a translation from the Hebrew and Greek. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible was written, you know, originally the Old Testament is in Hebrew and the New Testament is in Greek. The message was written by, I'm sorry. The message was written by a warlock. He practiced witchcraft. He put witchcraft words in the text. When I was a baby Christian, I read that book. But there was another voice in the word. Not the Holy Spirit. There was a demon. The Bible says, marvel not. For Satan can transform himself as an angel of light. And he does. And this book, the message, the Holy Spirit revealed to me as a baby Christian that a demon wrote that Jesus said, my sheep hear me. They know my voice. And a stranger they won't listen to. They won't follow. This pastor had been serving Jesus for 30 years. And another pastor gave him that book. For two months after this meal, the Holy Spirit moved in such a mighty way. Powerful move of God. And one day, he got up and he preached from the message.
after he said he wouldn't do that. Out of love for him, I began to intercede for him and ask, and ask God to forgive him that he had been his servant all this time and for God to have mercy on him. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, that is not my word. And from that moment on, the man was of another spirit. Another spirit had moved into the church. We left. The associate pastor asked us why we left. They, they wanted us to come back. And I refused to sit under that. They were offended. And we could not fellowship with them. What do you think is going to happen to those who do such things? To depart from the faith, despite the spirit of grace, despite what the word says, despite the prophet or the servant of the Lord warning them not to do it, and please hear my heart I, I am not condemning this pastor I pray for his soul but we cannot be ignorant we are in the last days why is it shocking to hear there are false prophets why is it so odd to know that there, there is another Jesus, another spirit roaming about? The word has said for 2,000 years that it would be like this. We should not be surprised. And we are to watch. We are to pray. We are to stay at the foot of the cross. We are to depend on Jesus Christ only. And abide in the word of God. Amen. 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 But you know, we'll never get to a point in our life where we won't need humility before God. We <laughs> the Bible says to take heed you who think you stand. Lest you also fall. There was another pastor whose son was also a, a pastor who was also like a father to us. We ministered in his church. We helped him in his ministry. But the son was reading things that 
itched his ears. Why do animals itch their ears? You know why? Infection. Mites. Yeah, they itch them. They're itchy. They have bugs that get in their ears. They want someone to come over and, and scratch their ears for them. Like a dog. <laughs> you scratch the ear of the dog, they love you forever. But it's still a dog. Is there something wrong with those who have itching ears? Spiritually. That's why they don't want to hear the truth. This young man was lifted up in pride because he was saved and a year and a half later he is pastoring. He didn't know anything. I didn't know anything when I was only saved a year and a half. I knew Jesus loved me. I knew I was saved. I didn't know a whole lot else. Amen. Amen. He should not have been pastoring. Because the Bible says not a novice. That's being lifted up in pride. He fall into the snare of the devil. And that's what happened. His, they started a church and God was blessing it because they were preaching the truth but they heard something else that they liked better something they like better. Oh, <laughs> wow. And now, they preach you don't have to repent. They preach to the Christians. Oh, you, you don't, that's not conviction of the Holy Spirit. You have sin consciousness. Because if you're a Christian, you don't have a sin nature. And then they tell the people, in essence, they make the way broad for people to sin. And then they build a wall of lies between the people and God to keep them from repenting. And they take many people in this snare. But they walked with Jesus. So did Judas. They will not endure sound doctrine. They hold on to it for a minute. And then it's gone. They can't abide in it. They don't want it. They want something else. They want the world and they want to appear holy. 
The Bible says, love not the love not the world. And if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Because all that's in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Amen. We need Jesus. We need to be a body that believes the word, that lives by the word, that abides in the word, that preaches the word, that prays the word, that sings the word. We need the word. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen, sister. Amen. <laughs> Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. I'm here to tell you not everyone saying they are coming in the name of Jesus is sent from Jesus. We must try the spirits to see if they are of God or not. That means me. That means me. You should try me. I am subject to that. Amen? Amen. Amen. You should never take anybody's word for it. You should go to the word. The Holy Spirit testifies of those who are His because they bear the truth, they speak the truth, they live the truth. <laughs> the Holy Spirit testifies. <laughs> Those who belong to Jesus. Because they speak the truth. They believe the truth. And they live the truth. Amen. Amen. There has to be something on the inside. And I mean the holiness of God. I mean Jesus Christ. That comes out of the fountain. And if it isn't Jesus Christ. And the holiness of God. And the Holy Spirit. And the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Then it is in God. Amen. And I share these stories because I want to give you the insight that I have had to pay a price to gain. Amen. The true Christians that I know today in America all have testimonies like what I just shared. All. They can't find the truth. They go throughout the land looking for the truth. 
They visit church, 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 trying to find the truth. They're not trying to be mean or critical. They, they just want to be fed. I met one lady, she said she'd been looking for five years. And could not find the truth. There were years we spent at home in the work together as a family. Singing songs to Jesus. And me preaching to my family. We have five children. Because it was important that despite the crazy, that my children would know the word. Amen. 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 But we are encouraged because we know that we are not alone. Jesus is with us. Amen. Amen. And the body of Christ, all of us, that, that we're all together in the spirit. Those who are, alive, who are alive now and those who wait for us with Jesus. We are one. Hallelujah. Amen. And one day we will be one. Because Jesus is going to come back. But until then, preach the word. Amen.
tena. Kuja mbele za Bwana. Kuambie Bwana akupee nguvu. Nguvu ya kukataa dhambi. Kuambie Bwana akutenze na roho wake mtakatifu. Ili uweze kusimama siku za mwisho. Kwa sababu siku ambazo tunaishi ni siku za mwisho. Uongo umeongezeka kila
Oh, 
we are around. Amen. Amen. My sister Lydia is a singer. Amen. Shalom. God bless you.